Hi, hi everybody. The, the Zoom is uh, the previous meeting is just over, so you can you can start. We can start because I'm sorry, it was another meeting till now. So you can normally it is possible to start. Is the speaker here? I don't see the speaker. He's coming. Hmm. Lara, is the same Zoom you use for the department or for? No, no, it's the, it's the Zoom of uh, CY Advanced Studies and there was uh -huh. a, another meeting. Okay. And this time I'm exceptionally in charge because Francesco was over for, uh, for something. Okay, okay. You can use the, 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 the Zoom is, is this free. Otherwise you can use mine. I, I think it's okay for you, no? Yeah, I mean, we can use also uh, our departmental Zoom, so there's no, no problem. But you, uh, now the, the, uh, the CY uh, Zoom is free because we had the guest lecture up to now for this, it was... Uh, so yeah, yeah, this is this is what I launched. Uh, this is what Francesca told me to do. Uh, okay. To launch the meeting. Okay, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, okay, so we have nine people. Oh. Uh, if you need the... Uh, one second, I don't see Voikan, by the way. I saw Voikan's iPad connecting at the very beginning. Yeah. And yeah, Voikan is here. Voikan oh, is here. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Is here. Mm. But why I don't yeah. see... Yeah. Ah, yeah, sorry, 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 I, I see you. It's here. Yeah. Alive and well. Okay, okay. Well, we cannot see that. But... Yeah, I know that we <laughs> won't be here. And Loran also had something to do this afternoon. He won't be either. But uh, I, I, st I, I, I live in uh, half an hour because we have a, a teach, yeah. no, I have uh, to follow a course how to build the website of the institute. So I, I have to follow a seminar, <laughs> a technical seminar. Yeah. Sorry, Arman, you won't be here? No, see, see, I, I'll be here. Uh, oh, okay. I, I just mentioned Vahagan and uh, Loran. Oh, who, okay, okay. I, mis I misunderstood. <laughs> yeah. I was surprised. But... Uh, I'm just trying to see if we have to wait for... Ah, okay, so the list is much longer than... Uh... Yeah, I think we wait two more minutes and we can start, right? Okay. Or we can start right now, I don't know. Uh, we can wait two minutes. Okay, let's wait two minutes. Uh, time to drink my coffee. Mm. <laughs> mm. Is Macron speaking tonight? No, I don't think so. I think it's next week. Because my student told me he was speaking tonight. Ah, well, that I don't know. I, I heard that he will be speaking uh, in the middle of next week, but maybe they changed. It was uh, two days ago. Or I couldn't find, uh, but I'm asking because they told me so, and then I couldn't find at the time uh, online. Mm. So maybe, maybe you are right, maybe they meant next week. Who are you waiting for? I don't know. No, I think uh, I think we can start. So it's quarter past. Okay. So we can start. So wait, ciao. Okay, no problem. So, can you see the slide or the this note? I yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yes, Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So today I will continue to introduce the. We will start the feedback stabilization of the open open spin system, and. We have already introduced the, the stochastic master equation that, which can be obtained by the quantum field theory. Uh, this, 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 this picture we have already seen a lot of times. So we will consider on this system, this is our main system, what do we, what do we want to control? Uh, normally it's a finite dimensional quantum system, uh, which can be controlled by an 
by another field, which is called the magnetic co uh, coils. Uh, there's a connected, interactive with the with the measurement field. Okay, the laser here, the co probe laser. Uh, we can here is the input, and we can obtain the output, output of the field, and then we detected the output field by the homodyne detectors, and we can obtain the the observation precise. Uh, before I uh, always denoted by the YT. And this, ob uh, this observation process, YT, is you, uh, by applying the uh, spectral theorem, we know that it's exactly the stochastic, the classical stochastic process. And uh, we just apply the quantum field theory based on this stochastic process. We can obtain, we can construct the best estimation of the state of the spin system. Okay. So based on the state, the optimization, optimization observation, sorry, optimal, optimal estimation of the spin system, and we can, we can calculate or we can construct uh, some function. Uh, the function of the, uh, in fact, it's just a real uh, bounded real scalar function. And we, we apply this to the magnetic coils and we can control our system, okay. So I just draw it in this diagram. Here is our system and the state of the system can be characterized by the density matrix rho. And uh, just uh, detected by the homodyne detector, we can obtain the output, the observation process Y. And based on this process, we, we, we construct a filter and we can obtain the estimation denoted by the rho hat. And then we calculate, we, we calculate the classical uh, computer, we can, we can obtain an equation, we call that the, the feedback controller, feedback laws or feedback controller, denoted by the U row head, which means it's just a, the function of the row head, okay? It's just the R, okay? And next, in the, in the following course, we always consider the angular momentum system, which also called the spin system, which means the, the finite dimensional system with the fixed angular momentum denoted by J. And the J equals to N minus one over two, okay? And the two J is always the integer number. Okay, next I will introduce our control objective. And normally there are a lot of control objective. For example, we want to control a system in the optimal way. But here, what we want to do is to stabilize uh, our system to a target state, target pure state. For example, I give some uh, physical background. For example, we consider a very easy, the easiest maybe, the, the example, we consider an atom, which is also the spin half system or sometimes we can call that a qubit, okay? And let's consider the, the flow, the, the quantum flow we have of the of observable. And here we consider observable is a, our Hamiltonian of the system. And the time evolution of this state, uh, sorry, time evolution of this observable, and we calculate the state of this uh, quantum flow. So we want, I mean, this one corrected, uh, related to the energy of the system, right? What we want to do is, uh, we want to construct, find a feedback controller or control input to stabilize the energy of our system to a target energy. For example, this energy or the minus one. And we have already shown that the state of the quantum flow is equal to the best estimation. Okay. And this one, we can, because it's in the finite dimensional case, so we can always write it, which means it can be characterized by a density operator, rho t. So this, also can be right, and that one. Row E and the trees, H0, row J, okay? 
and each zero, we call that the free Hamiltonian of our system. Okay, which means it can be also right like that. And this is exactly the sigma z is a poly matrix. And the row E is just a one zero diagonal matrix. Row J is zero one, which is called excited state and the ground state. Okay. So if you want to stabilize our system at your target energy, we can change a little bit to the some control problem, which means you now we have the goal. It's the state to describe the time evolution of the of quantum system, state of quantum system. We want to stabilize the state towards our target state. Normally, we, we suppose the target state is a pure state. Mm -hmm. And because the time of evolution of the density operator is, is described by the stochastic master equation. So we call that is a conditional. Because this one is conditioning to the, the measurement. So we call that a conditional density operator. Uh, sorry. That's the matrix. Okay, so we want to find or construct the U. This is our control problem. Uh, for this part, in the physics domain, which is called quantum state preparation. And I have already shown you that the time of evolution of the rho t can be described by a stochastic master equation. Okay, I have already prepared this material just for saving the time. Okay. So let's consider the, the, we always consider the angular momentum system and dimension n, which means, dimension n, which means the rho t. Okay, we consider the n level, the angular momentum system. The n level dimension n means the, the state density operator is the n times n matrix and I denoted the Sn, this space, we call that the state space. Okay. The trace equals to one and it's, it's Hermitian matrix and always semi-positive, okay. And we know that the, the, this stochastic master equation is just a, the matrix valued Ito's form stochastic differential equation. Okay, there's two parts. The first part is called, is the just the deterministic part. And we know that this is just the lean blood, right? Lean blood, lean blood operator. And for the second part, corresponding to the stochastic one, we call that the back action of the measurement. And for the each operator, the GY and the GZ and the constant I and eta. The, for the modelization of this equation and how to obtain this equation, I give this reference, okay. In the reference, we can see that how to obtain this equation and it's all, in this reference, I mean, they also obtain this equation by applying the quantum filtering theory and for the physical part, how to emerge the, the physical into this equation, they use the, the, the weak coupling limit. Okay, then I can obtain this, this, this model. And we have WT. The WT here is just one dimensional Brownian motion uh, in this uh, probability space. Okay, this probability space is obtained by the applying spectral theorem to the measurement to the observation process. And the JZ, JZ, it's, 
it's just uh, this this diagonal matrix divided by j uh, we can see that if we can consider in some sense it's a symmetry, right? It's symmetry. It's just a diagonal matrix, but it's a symmetry, which means the first one is J and the last one is minus J. So we have this relation to describe the this matrix JZ. And I make I give some notation, maybe it's not so so common because I start by the E0, E0 and finish by E2J, okay? Because the E zero, in fact, is just the one zero zero zero, and the E two J is zero zero two to the one. Okay, it, it, they construct the orthonormal basis of the CN. We have the, the this J Z, and next is the G Y. G Z can be considered as a, we call that normally we call this part this uh, this operator as a measurement operator, and this one we call that as a Free Hamiltonian, okay. And the GY here, it plays a role as a control Hamiltonian. And GY is given by this off diagonal matrix, which means that in the diagonal part is all zero. And this one, and the GZ, sorry, the GY is, is also Hermitian matrix. Okay, and the C1 is given by this equation and each constant here is given by this expression. And we have seen also there exist the three parameters, omega here, emma, and eta. Eta, we have already said that, eta between, uh, belong to zero and one, which describe the efficiency of the detector, okay? Which means if eta equals to one, we suppose our detection is perfect. There's no noise to the observation process. If eta equals to zero, which means there's no, uh, no detection, there's no measurements. Okay. And M, M is a positive constant described, represents the strength of the interaction between the atoms and the probe. And omega corresponds to the free Hamiltonian and it can be changed by, the, by just applying a Z direction, the magnetic field. It can, and it can change this omega, okay? For the detailed description of this model can be found in this, this article. Okay, so we have already this part. Let's just see that. Because this equation this describes the, the real system, the actual system, okay? Which means, sorry. Which means, this system, we have the D row to describe the time evolution of the quantum system. But it, we have also, by applying the quantum filtering theory, we need a filter. And the state of the filter is denoted by the row head, okay? So let's first consider uh, assumption. So the Hebrew set is one. The first hypothesis is we suppose the actual constant, we know exactly the each value of the parameters, physical parameters, which means what we guess, what we estimate is equal to the real estimate, the real parameters. We know exactly the value. And we suppose the initial state of the actual system equals to the filter, the one of the filter, okay? This one corresponds to the parameters of the real system. This one corresponds to the filter. So we know from this, from this assumption, We know the state of the system time t equals to the state of the filter at time t, right? For the OT positive, almost surely. Okay. And in the first course, we will consider this assumption. And in the following, I will consider we don't have this, we consider we don't have these perfect conditions. And we will 
due to find some uh, sufficient condition of feedback controller to stabilize our system. Okay, uh, next. And before we start this um, real control problem, I want to just introduce some basic notation for the stochastic stability. Sorry. There's some good reference for the discussion on the stochastic stability, the first one the Ramis Kaminsky's book. Stochastic stability. F differential equation. Okay, there is a second one is Shumarong's book. Stochastic differential equations and applications. This book maybe is a little down. Sorry. Sorry. The first lay, what will be used is Ito's formula. Of course, it's very important. Let's consider stochastic differential equation okay and the qt is the state of the system let's consider just the vector here and here is the function function is c2 it's twice continuously the q so we have the differential of uh, this function Okay, and this is called infinitesimal. Uh, infinitesimal generator of the function v. That's a very important conditions or assumptions. It this function should be c two. Okay, this is very important. And maybe this condition can be relaxed by using some local time techniques, but here we we'll just suppose the basic one. And consider to our quantum system, finite dimensional quantum system, we want to add some, if I want to start with the, the, the control problem, some stabilization problem, we need to give the, the matrix, okay? And here we consider the Bios matrix. between the two state, the dance and operator, I'm sorry, where the row A and row B belong to our state space S and this two is the density matrix, which is given by And if one of these two states, for example, let's suppose the row B is a pure state, which means it can be written in this form, it's a pure state. And we have the easier form for the pure metric. Okay. 
And based on this pure metric, we introduce, we can introduce the a state with the subset. It's just a very basic definition. Of the row in this subset, and based on this metric, we give the definition for neighborhood denoted by BR E for the all row for the all dozen objects. Okay, they just some basic notation. And next, I'll give some definition for the stochastic stability. And let's suppose the E hat, the subsite of the state space is an invariant subsite for our stochastic master equation, okay? For, for, for the equation. Okay. Uh, this site is called locally stable improbability. If for all the constant epsilon between the zero and one, and all are positive, there exists the constant delta, which delta is depends on the epsilon r, such that the probability of the row t. Okay. If it satisfies this expression, we call the this invariant subset is a locally stable in probability. It's very easy to understand. For example, if we start for our initial state is in a smaller neighborhood uh, of the of the subset E bar, and the probability of this trajectory of the solution exceed the larger one, with the probability. Mm, smaller than one, strictly, we call that is locally stable, okay? Which means we cannot always exit, we cannot always exit the larger neighborhood with the probability one. We still exist some probability has in some larger neighborhood, okay? And if we satisfy this property, we call that locally stable in probability. And the second one, is called almost surely asymptotically stable. If this site E bar is locally stable in probability and for the probability if it converge to this site equals to one. Okay, which means at when time turn to infinity, our solution of the of the system will converge, will enter in this this neighborhood. Okay, in this uh, this subsite E bar. Then we call this subsite is asymptotically stable. And the third third one is called exponential. Stable. Stable in mean. which means for its adaptation of the distance
Okay. In fact, if we consider exponential stable in mean, it's exactly the exponential stable in the classical case, in classical, in the, I mean, in the deterministic case, okay. And for the smallest value of beta, this two is a constant. The smallest value of this constant, the minus beta, is called average Lyapunov exponent. Exponent, okay. And next, the last one, the fourth one, is called almost surely exponential stable. Which means we have this expression, lim soup, almost surely, of course, for all row. Okay. And for the value, of the left-hand side is called the sample Lyapunov exponent. And in fact, there is no direct relation between the third one and the fourth one, which means we cannot imply each other for the, from the exponential stable in mean and almost a sure exponential stable. And of course, if, if we have some additional properties, of course, maybe we can imply one of these two. Okay. Okay, we finished the, the some introduction of the notations. Uh, we'll start the, we can back to our quantum system. And I will show you the very important property of the, the finite dimensional system on the continuous time measurement is called the quantum state, quantum state reduction. And firstly, let's consider the procedure is called puration, purification. Because our control objective is we want to stabilize our system to the target pure state. So let's just firstly consider some Purification, uh, purification problem. And we want to study which rows of the, the F row and the G row, okay. F row and G row denoted the the lean blood form is F row, which corresponds to the deterministic part and the stoch stochastic part, which mean that it represents the bank action of the measurement, this part and the zero, okay? So on to start it. The which row of F row and the G row of the stochastic master equations, please on, please on the preparation uh, the pure state pure state okay and how to calculate the pure state they're just a very easy formula if the test the operator satisfy this equality we call such state row is a pure state. Pure, okay. So it denoted, we denote an equation and the S row equal to one minus trace row square. So if S row equal to zero, which means our row is pure. Then we just calculate the infinitesimal generator of this equation 
And of course, I'll be this, this equation is C2, so we can apply the, we can calculate the infinitesimal generator, right? And then we obtain. Minus it zero square. And from this expression, we know that this eta is always positive. And for the trees, j square, of course, it is always positive. So here is the, the minus, which means this power is always negative. And from the just applying the Cauchy Schwarz inequalities, and we can show that just the Cauchy Schwarz inequality, show that this part is always positive. And another, we can obtain several things. The first one is if we calculate the infinitesimal generator of the one minus three square, row square. There is no, which means that the, the control input U is disappear. There's no control input, okay? Which means it's independent of U of the control input. The second one, what we want to do is we hope this part the infinitesimal generator the, of S rho is smaller. What we want to do is we, we want to guarantee that it is smaller than zero, okay? It's negative. If it is negative, which means this equation is super Martin Q, it can uh, convert to zero and we can obtain the pure state. With this as our target objective, uh, due to the, the second part, this part is negative, okay? It's negative, which means the G rho, the stochastic part, uh, the, sorry, the, the bank action, the measurement, the provide the positive effect for our puration, pur purification. So positive. Excuse me, could you yeah. uh, show your master equation again and tell us yeah, again yeah. Where, where U is? Because you're saying- uh, Yeah, sorry. In, in which term do we see the u? Okay. Here it's this term that was in front of the j y. Yeah. So okay. there is no j y. In fact, if we calculate that, there is no j y, because we, there is a trace. In fact, if we just calculate that the trace of this term is equal to zero, so there's no u. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So, and for this, which means this is corresponds to the, the back action of the measurement, of the measurement, okay. Which means this part, the back action of the measurement provide the, the positive effect uh, for our purification. But the lean blood part, this part, because we can, it's always positive, which means this provide a negative effect. Okay, so it gives me some intuition, which means if you want to uh, prepare a pure state, maybe we need to profit the part of bank action. We need to let the bank action of the measurement, this part of the J row, to dominate the, the, the procedure of the system, right? Dominate the system. Okay. Let's continue to to have some, let's go to try to go further. If let's suppose we don't, we turn off the control input. Okay, we turn off the control input, which means we suppose the control input equal to zero, identically, and then denote This site, okay, the, the row zero 
it's just the, the one, it's a, it's a diagonal matrix, one, zero, okay? And uh, until the zero, 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 one. Okay, and we can show that if we turn off the control input, uh, this is the only n equilibrium for our stochastic master equation. Okay. So of course it's an invariant subsite, right? And let's consider the function, which is also called the variance function for the GZ. Do square, the square for the trees. Okay, so we can, from this form, we know that it is, it's just a variance function, right? For the GZ, uh, just by applying the, the cauchy schwarz inequality again, it is always positive at V rho equals to zero if and only if rho belongs to this site, okay? Because the GZ, let's see the, the form of GZ again. The GZ is a, Diagonal matrix from the j to the minus j, right? The each element in the diagonal are different. Okay, so it's very easy to calculate this inequality, to show this inequality, just the, the basic application of the cauchy schwarz inequality. And then we calculate if any task generator of this variance function, uh, we have This one, okay. The square. This is very interesting because the infinitesimal generator of the V of this function, various function equals to some constant, positive constant times the V square. Okay, firstly, it is always negative, right? And this LV equals to zero if and only if rho equals to the, the E hat, uh, sorry, E bar, right? The same reason. And here I introduce another important tools in the stochastic control theory, it's called Theorem stochastic Lasalle theorem means if we have the LV rho is negative and we have the limit t turns to infinity of rho t equals to zero, almost surely. Okay. Uh, this can be found in the, uh, the diff uh, give the reference, uh, the, the theorem modes. Just the stochastic. A theorem. theorem. So because we have already calculated that the LV is more than zero and LV equal to zero if and only if rho belong to this subside. So we can show that the rho t on the, the subsection u equal to zero when turn off the, the, we turn off the control input will converge in this subsite, right? What does that mean? Because it's just uh, the, this subsite is just the row zero, the, the several, the n, in fact, it's n density matrix, okay? Which means 
the row T will converge to one of this element in the subsite with certain probability. So it's also interesting to calculate the probability of the convergence. Next, we'll calculate the probability. The convergence uh, towards the E bar, okay? We suppose we just suppose the row T will convert to the row N, okay, one of uh, the elements in the E bar. And then we calculate just this function, the infinitesimal generator of the trace row T, row N. Okay, the row N is just one of the, the elements in this subside, equal to zero. It's very interesting, which means this subsection is a Martin Q. Uh, this precise is a Martin Q, right? Martin Q at it will converge to okay because if rho t convert to the row n okay if rho t convert to row n we know that the row tree is equal to one if not if rho t convert to n is else so the row zero or the row two j this tree is equal to zero okay so we have this it just denoted this event by the identity this this one okay this expression and furthermore we have the trees row t row n is a martin q so we can calculate the probability of the convergence because it's martin q so it it depends on the the equals to the initial value right so we have this pro we have this property, which means the convergence toward the target towards some state. It just depends on the initial value, which means the row t, if u always u t equals to zero, maybe with certain probability converge to sorry, convert to row zero with the probability equal to the trees row. Uh, uh, okay, I don't know. Row zero is initial state. Uh, here, row zero, it's it's a state row zero. Okay, and convert to the row one with the probability row zero row one, etc. Okay. At this, this property is called quantum state reduction. So what we want to do here is, so based on this property, there are some natural generalization for the control objective is, because if we have, uh, if we turn off the control input, we'll converge to the one of this subsite. So now we fix one of this, Set at the target state. We suppose this one is our target pure state. And we want to control, want to find some ut to control our row t towards this target state. So now this, this problem is our control goal, okay? Uh, I've already introduced the quantum state reduction And we need something more because we have only from this calculation, if we choose this one, very function of our Lyapunov function, we can show the converge to the, the subsite, but we, we have nothing information on the rate of convergence. On the rate of the convergence. So I do something more. Call that exponential quantum state reduction. OK. 
Okay, here's also some references. The first one is my paper. Also, the Tristan also did some work on on this problem. Okay, and in order to uh, estimate the the rate of convergence. I will use, I will find uh, some a suitable Lyapunov function. So we also to calculate uh, its infinitesimal generator. So we want to, if we want to use the Etos formula, of course we, we need to ensure that this function, this Lyapunov function, the candidate Lyapunov function is C two. Okay. So in order to guarantee that we can apply the Etos formula, I will first. Uh, state a lemma just to ensure that we can use this, this function. In fact, this one is very, it's well used, this method is well used in the one dimensional diffusion precise. We always see, we can, maybe we can find the result in any book. Okay. Oh, sorry, okay, so. We, we, we suppose that the row KK is the state is the row times row K, okay? Which means it just the the times the row, row the row KK, okay? Sorry. And the, for the row, here is the row. And check this part. Okay. Okay. This is our row KK. Okay. We suppose the row KK is zero at initial time, the row KK equal to zero. Uh, it will always be zero. Another one. If Non zero will always be non zero. First of all, it's very easy to show that because we just we have the the stochastic differential equation for the row KKT is given by okay. So we can say that here is a row KKT, and for this part, it's bounded because the for all the row T belong to the SN and we can show that in fact this SN is a compact, okay, it's a compact space. So this always abundant by some constant. Positive constant. So the first one is done. Let's consider the second one. Which means if rho kk is zero equals to zero, of course, for any rho kk t is equal to zero, okay? Let's suppose strictly positive, and we suppose the probability, because we want to show that the probability is equal to one. So now we just, uh, we will show that, prove this part by the contradiction.
is smaller than y. And also denote that two at the stopping time equal to zero. Okay. Because this is Ah, uh, what happened? Okay. From this assumption, we know the probability. Okay. Which means in finite time, there exists a probability non zero in finite time, the rho kk equals to zero. Suppose the probability is positive. So we can always find a very large, sufficiently large T is positive, right? Okay, so we choose a constant between the zero and rho kk zero. I will show this function as our Lyapunov function here. Uh, suppose this function only works on this integral. And we know that if the rho kk is always larger than this epsilon, the v rho is c2. And we can calculate the infinitesimal generator of this v, uh, the, this function v. Zero square okay and the, it is just smaller than zero uh, zero right okay because we have already the uh, whatever differential of this part is given by this one and this part is smaller than the r. So we just take the square, right? Square. And we, we can, it's easily, it's obvious. Okay, we have this inequality. And from now on, we define the function. The v rule. And we can continue to calculate the infinitesimal generator of this function if rho t okay because we have already this inequality the l v rho is smaller than the r square v rho so this part is always negative and the exponential is always positive. So the, the combination is always negative, right? And next we define a new stopping time. And the, which is the, the rho kkt, the first time of the rho kkt exit, the epsilon to one. Okay. So we'll apply the equals formula. And we have exponential uh, expectation. This wedge means the minimum between the t and the two epsilon. And we have already calculated that this part is always negative. 
So this is always negative, which means this is always smaller than V0. Uh, V0 equals to, right? And there's also a observation is to epsilon is always smaller than tau, okay? Because the tau is stopping time if the rho kkt convert to zero. It convert to zero and correspond to the convert to the epsilon, okay? Epsilon is always positive than zero. So of course, this is always smaller than tau. And if we, Conditioning to the case, the tau is always smaller than conditioning to this event. We have, Okay, because the two epsilon, what that mean the two epsilon is a stopping time of the rho kkt equals to epsilon. Okay, this is why we have this in quote, and the v0 is one over rho kk. Okay, so at the time to epsilon, we have this one. Okay, now we pass to the final step. We have already shown that this one is equal to the one. Okay. And this is smaller than because we have this observation. So we have this inequality and this one is smaller than kk zero. Due to this inequality and this inequality, okay. So we have, we just, uh, this part, this part is constant, right? We can just put it out and we put this part to another side. We can obtain the probability T smaller than epsilon And now we just light the epsilon convert to zero and we have equals to zero. So we obtain the contradiction. Okay. Because we supposed is strictly positive that we can obtain it's equal to zero. So we find a contradiction. So we, everything is proved. Next, then we can pass to the our theorem exponential quantum state reduction. It's this subset rho zero rho two j. It's exponentially stable. It mean and almost surely with the Lyapnov, Lyap, Lyapnov exponent 
less one or equal to less than or equal to over two. The proof is we just uh, define this site the, or the k such that the row kk equals to zero. So at a certain time equal to zero, and we define a subsite of a state space. The row kk equal to zero if and only if k line to this site. Okay. Which means if, if at initial time we just define, we just construct or we find a subsite SI, which means if the initial state, the, the row KK is equal to zero and we suppose it's always zero. And if it's no zero, it's always no zero due to the uh, previous lemma. So which means the, the, this subsite is invariant okay, for our stochastic master equation. Always, sorry. The, to zero. zero. And now we define a Lyapunov function So which means it, it just we can write row n n and row n n. So we, we know that it's always positive, right? And if it is equal to zero, if and only if the row belongs to this subset, right? So what we need to do is just calculate infinitesimal generator. And why we can calculate the infinitesimal generator? Because uh, the firstly, due to this this square, uh, sorry, due to this root square root. So normally, we know that there is some singularity if the element here is equal to zero. So we cannot use apply the Ito's formula. But what we calculate is always in this subset. We, we suppose our V row is always in this subset. Uh, we have already uh, showed that this subset is invariant, okay? Which means if it's non zero, it's positive, it's always positive. It is positive, it's always positive. Uh, if it is zero, it's always zero. And this is why I, I provide this lemma before. And from now on, we can calculate the infinitesimal generator of this function. It's not difficult to calculate the, this derivative, but it takes a long time. I will not give the detail of the calculation, just give the result. We have this one. It's, it's perfect. If we have this inequality, we just apply the Ito's formula. And we can obtain. And just by the the grown wall in quality that we have this in quality. Okay, it's not finished because from our definition of the exponential stable in mean, which means it's always with respect to the distance 
metric. And uh, by playing some basic technique of the inequality, the cauchy schwarz inequality or the JSON inequality, we can show this relation, which means this function, the function is equivalent to the Bill's distance. And I can also give the some estimation of this constant. Okay. And so it's finished for the first part. Okay. And next uh, is how to generalize this relation to the asymptote to improve to the proof the asymptotic, uh, uh, sorry, to prove the almost surely exponential stable. And here we, we define another stochastic precise. It's always positive. And next, I will show you that this stochastic precise is a super is a positive super Martin curve. How to show that? We just calculate the infinitesimal generator. This precise. Okay, because This inequality, I know that this part is always negative, right? So the whole is negative because exponential is always positive, which means the keep rel t t is a positive supermolting here. Just by dips. Country theorem, we can show that this Martin cube, when t convert to infinity, we convert to some bounded uh, random variable, almost surely bounded. Okay, almost surely the random variable A. And because it's super Martin here, so wait, the A is exactly right. So we have the QT, the QT. We just put the, the this part to another side. We can obtain this equation. Almost a shoot, right? And next is we just calculate the limit. Soup. And by applying the the relation between the Bill's distance and the Lyapunov function, we can show that. Okay, so we have shown that the subsite E bar is exponentially stable in mean and almost surely. I will also obtain the estimation of the Lyapunov exponent. Very nice. And what we want to do next is, is find construct the feedback control laws to stabilize the system. 
And here I want to, sorry. Uh, excuse me, uh, Wei Chao, it's yeah. already one hour and 10 minutes ah, okay. of lecturing. I mean, uh, how much material is left for today? I mean, okay. if it is too much, then maybe we should postpone it to next week or? Uh, okay, okay, maybe next week, okay. Yeah, if it is okay, I mean, it depends how much, if you just a few minutes left, we can uh, continue, uh, then otherwise we can... Uh, no, uh, maybe next week is, is better, is okay. this together, so I think, okay. All right. So, yeah. Okay, uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, uh, well, I don't know, uh, are there any questions or remarks about what Rachel was telling today? Well, maybe I can ask a question. So if you can yeah. show once again your uh, control equation, right? It was uh, in the beginning. I mean, when, yeah. you, when you see the control and so, uh, yeah, this one. So, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, I mean, uh, as far as I can see, I mean, uh, you mentioned already that your control appears only in the deterministic term, right? In the yeah, first yeah, term. yeah, yeah. It's just here. It's just in the first term, right? Right, uh, so uh, let us remove this uh, stochastic term. I don't know whether it is reasonable from a uh, physics point of view, but just uh, from a mathematical point of view, you may ask the question, if we remove the stochastic term, yeah, uh, is it easy to see that you have all these kind of stabilities? Because uh, as far as I can understand, uh, that would be, that should be much easier, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it, right. uh, so, uh, so is it just an application of, uh, of this uh, okay. uh, Lyapunov method so of, uh, considering a final Lyapunov function or it is uh, there is yeah. something more okay so if we just uh, uh, you mean if we just uh, suppress this part right which means yeah. that we can just uh, take the eta equal to zero and we, we have no, no no this part yeah but the problem is if we want to apply the fee bank control so if we yeah. want to apply the fee bank controller which means that the u equals to some function of the the state Right. We need to measure that. We need to measure that. If we don't measure, we cannot obtain the, the feedback. We cannot apply the feedback. This is a problem. So of course we can just apply the open loop control theorem. Uh, sorry, open loop controller controls, which means the UT, if the UT is just the function of the time. Yeah. There's no problem. This code also the I remember the the, the Francisco Ticosi is the works a lot on this problem. They call that the, the MME, the lean blood, uh, lean blood equation, which means they, they just uh, try to the construct the special form, the suitable form for this function. And they, they try to the stabilize the system to some target state or target space. This already done, but the problem is if we want to add the feedback, we need to measure, which means if we measure, there's always the part of this stochastic part. Which means okay. if we want to apply the feedback, feedback part. Yeah, but I was not sure that we... was the main question, actually. Yeah, my, my question was that, okay, uh, suppose that we want to have a fee, uh, we want to have a feedback, but yeah. if you take exactly the same feedback and you do, uh, you consider your control system removing this uh, stochastic part, mm -hmm. do you still have stabilities or uh, all, all these kind of stabilities or not? I mean, uh, uh, well, there is no point to talk about yeah, instability yeah, so on, just uh, and, and maybe you will see, uh, I know, uh, no, yeah, show that. And in fact, uh, in my opinion, is if you want to just uh, in, the, in the stabilization problem, the most mm -hmm. important part, in fact, is, is the stochastic part. Right. Okay, which means mm -hmm. we need to we need to use the stochastic uh, stochastic part to stabilize the system because as I showed in the purification part is always the stochastic part give the 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 positive mm. effect. So the of course we can we can work on, on just the, the the deterministic part the just the blood, but then maybe it's not so obvious. I mean, Mm -hmm. the, if you want to obtain some more result, for example, want to stabilize exponentially or have some robust properties, uh, not easy, it's not obvious, which means we need, maybe we need to use, uh, I will show that in the following course, the, the most interesting part and the most important part is the stochastic part. And this is okay. why, this is why we, we add this part. Okay, okay, thank you. So uh, maybe I can see something more. It's, in fact, as I showed in the exponential state reduction, because our target state, our target state is always one of the e bar, right? One of the e bar. If we add nothing, which means if u equals to zero, it will converge to one of this state e bar. 
Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is we just, if we, if the rho t converge to some antipodal eigenstate, which means it's, it's one of the equilibrium, but it's not our target state. We just choose the ut, the control input, non-zero. It's a function as a constant. I will, it will exit, right? I will, I will, will keep out, the keep away from the, the, this equilibrium. And with the converge, with the, the approach to the target state, we just choose the u equal to zero, and then we'll converge to the target state. This is a, the principal idea of the, the, the trajectories, how to contro control these trajectories. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, are there other questions? Or remarks or comments? Uh, well, this does not seem to be the case, then uh, okay. maybe we should stop here. Okay. And then we'll meet uh, next week, right? Next week, the same time. Yeah. Tomorrow we still have the meeting, right? The yeah, meeting uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. So tomorrow we okay. have a uh, Voikan's lecture about... Uh, okay. Yeah, well, can you wanted to say something or? Uh, yeah, yeah, nothing. I mean, we just continue yeah. tomorrow. I mean, there are things uh, maybe we should uh, discuss next uh, tomorrow. So the, I mean, uh, this possibility of having uh, uh, people vis visiting uh, Montreal in uh, in July. I mean, uh, but let us postpone that to the to, yeah, the, to okay. the meeting. But the Tristan is not here, and uh, and no, many people are not here. So so we should. We should maybe have a short discussion tomorrow just to motivate people to come <laughs> whether we, we can have some um, yeah. some um, assuming everything stabilizes by then whether we can have uh, some mathematical physics months again in montreal mm. we'll see okay okay uh, okay, then, then then we'll stop now, right? Uh, yeah. And we'll meet tomorrow for those who want. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Michelle. Okay. Thank bye you. Bye. 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 Thank you, Michelle. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, mean, it, I mean, it was clear, kind of. What do you think? Yeah, I think I think it was clear. Yeah, I, I mean, let me just.